Hey, this is Victor with Sky Tech One, where we talk about drone videography, tech, and travel videography. My name is Victor. I'm the host of Sky Tech One. If you're interested in those kind of things, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today, we're going to follow up with one of our last videos that made a lot of commotion, which is about do not buy an ultra wide monitor for your M1 Mac. Why you shouldn't do it. There was a lot of folks that had uh, a lot of support, a lot of people who had that problem and a bunch of folks also misunderstanding the problem and claiming that there is no problem. So today I'm going to talk about, you know, what Mac I have, uh, my problem with the ultra wide monitor, which is the P3421W by Dell. And then we'll talk about the misconceptions, the misunderstandings that uh, arose out of uh, the last video. And then uh, we talk about the solution, uh, an app called Better Dummy uh, by a private uh, individual developer. I'm gonna tell you how it works and the issues I've had with it. And overall, you know, should you still get an ultra wide monitor answering that question again that I posed a few months ago, or should you just, you know, settle for a regular monitor? So why don't we get started? Let's talk about the problem again and clarify and be more specific this time. So basically the, the issue is that when you scale at 3440 or the, the highest resolution your monitor can get in terms of ultra wides, you're going to most likely be able to get that. That's not my issue. The issue is if you try to scale up meaning or, or scale down, basically scaling up means you want the text, the icons, the graphics, the menus, to look larger maybe you have you just like everything bigger or your vision isn't as good as before or you just want to see it everything bigger when mac does that it makes everything bigger the text the graphics etc now when windows can do this no problem for different types of monitors it'll just adjust making sure that your text and graphics are still clear and sharp when you when you expand it that's not the case with non 4k monitors on M1 or M1 Pro or M1 Max and one ultra computers. When you scale larger, you want things to look bigger. What happens in M1 Max is that the font gets blurrier. The menus get blurrier. It's just not a really good experience because you kind of kind of everything is blurry. And I, I want to further specify and clarify and I'll, and I'll show you so the issue basically on a normal retina monitor such as a 4k monitor or even the, the internal monitor which is you know the one that came with your laptop basically you see the scale bar and you have larger text and more space if you see this you're you're good you're not going to have any issues with blurry text when you get larger the text remains sharp because it seems like the computer knows what to do and it's just not blowing things up now if you see this menu when you click scaled this is an issue because when you go down the further down you go and i i can't click on this is just an image but the further you down you go the blurrier the text is going to be i just really want to clarify this is something that a lot of people are, are misunderstanding because you know if you click 4k or let's see over here okay if you click 4k you're going to get your sharpest view even even at 33 32 it's probably going to be sharp enough for people for most people because they probably can't tell the difference between these high resolutions it's now you know when you get down here you know folks that want to see a little bit larger just like I have right now, then it it gets a little blurry or quite blurry. So in terms of other misconceptions, this is another misconception people have is they think my issue has to do with missing resolutions. I don't have any missing resolutions. I don't really like 2560 times 1440 is good for me in terms of size, in terms of the scale. It is blurry, you know, if I don't use better dummy, which I'll, I'll talk about in, in a bit. But some folks have missing resolutions, and I believe you can solve that problem by holding down the option button. Now, other folks can't get their maximum resolution, which is a different problem. 
I don't have that problem, so I'm not exactly sure what the solution is, but I think you might use uh, Switch ResX. So Switch R-E-S-X is another app. I don't know if that's solution, but uh, you can try, you know, always Google and Reddit it. So, you know, those misconceptions really make a lot of folks kind of dismissive about my issue. Uh, you know, this, they claim like, oh, this is not a problem, blah, blah, blah. So now I hope that clarifies the misconceptions. All right. So, and I just want to just double check <laughs> and, and, and confirm my problem, which is not a missing resolution and not getting sharp native resolution text and graphics. Native resolution text is always going to be sharp and you know, if you have good eyes, if you can see very well, if you like smaller icons and text, great. At the native resolution, you're going to get, you're going to get it. And that's not going to be an issue. So, but that's not my issue because I want to see things bigger. I want to see the menu menus bigger. I want to see the text bigger. And when I scale down, or you can say scale up, when the resolution goes down, the quality, the crispness, the sharpness, they all take a hit. And I hope that clarified the issue and the misconceptions. Now, what are our solutions? The best solution, it's not great, but it, it's a work in progress. It's called Better Dummy by a fella named Wade Dabber. He has a GitHub and he has you know a little forum and information on GitHub, and I'll link that in the description below. He also has Discord chat and he is active in that and he answered you know my questions. So what is Better Dummy? Better Dummy is kind of a trick and I don't know exactly how it works, but it creates two monitors inside the OS. So the OS thinks there's two monitors and one of them is a dummy monitor and one of them is your monitor. And somehow like when they overlay each other, somehow it just ports the high resolution onto the original. I don't know exactly what happens, but, and it does some magic and smaller resolutions with uh, larger text are now clear. There's, I think there's some sort of, it might be some sort of algorithm. It might be some sort of mag it's, it's magic <laughs> going on. So let's actually dive in quickly and talk about better dummy. So better dummy, as you can see, it's, it's a dummy of the same ultra wide resolution or your, your same resolution to your own monitor. As you can see the slider, you can slide to many, many different resolutions that, that you feel like you want. I think, like the concept is great, but there are some issues with it. And let me just, so one of the issues is the flickering. I had some issues with flickering at first, and this was about two weeks ago. That was actually solved by going into dummy and reconnecting, clicking this. This was a, from previous version. Reconnecting just most of the time just fixed the problem. Now, after that problem has been fixed for me, so later on, I was having issues with darker screens like this one. They're flickering a lot. And now, as you can see, it's not flickering. The cool thing about this app, Better Dummy and, and the developer, is he is consistently coming out with, with fixes and, and updates. So, you know, kudos to Wade Dabber on that. All right, so this issue has been solved with a later update, but now I was getting some flickering on colors. As you can see, uh, you won't be able to see this on your end because it's the flickering is now coming on like little uh, on, on colored objects. I don't know if you can see this, but like colors, like certain colors are flickering. It seems to be like colors are flickering. Now that's good. It's better than before where, you know, whites were flickering or blacks, were, you know, gray, dark grays are flickering. Maybe this is the problem has been solved. Better Dummy is 15 bucks at this point, whether I think it's worth it or not. I think it's worth 15 because it does solve a huge problem. Oh yes. And I, I wanted to also show you this fix. This was a pretty important fix. I'll, I'll link it in the description below as well. This actually helped me with, I believe the dark flickering or I, I'm like 90% sure it's, it fixed the dark flickering and then I believe the one of the newer builds might have also helped a little bit as well. I would say this is for me, it was probably one of the more important, the most important fixes. So I'll leave it in the description below. 
So now, in conclusion, this issue with scaling, this is, this is mainly a scaling issue. And I believe this is a Mac software issue. So there was one guy on Reddit, and there's, there's a lot of threads all over the internet, all over Reddit about this issue on Mac forums as well. And one dude on Reddit says, why? Because Mac OS no longer uses their old technique of anti-aliasing. Since Mojave, Apple ditched that in favor of double pixeling, I'm sorry, pixel doubling, resolution oversampling in retina scaling, which means it'll only work on high DPI display, retina display or 4K display. Basically, Apple no longer cares about displays other than their own retina display or 4K plus display. So I'm not exactly sure if this uh, is, is, the, is correct or not. Basically, I do think it is a Mac software issue. I don't think it's hardware issue. Now, I mean, it could be. But just one thing to note is that this thing, th this issue doesn't happen in Windows. And Windows does a great job of scaling with consistently sharp, full res sharpness, full, full res detail. So in Windows, even when you scale up, everything is sharp and everything is detailed. So in conclusion, should you, should you get an ultra wide monitor for your M1 Mac? Well, that depends, you know, if productivity and the benefits of ultra wides exceeds the, you know, if you think that's more important and you can live with some flickering, some minor issues, some annoyances, paying for better dummy and possibly these flickering issues might be perpetual and might be fixed by way dabber and might be fixed by apple and i'm not gonna hold my breath on apple now if you are annoyed by these things if if, if flickering and jerry-rigging your your mac with better dummy and kind of using workarounds if that sounds off-putting for you then i guess you'll You'll probably do better with just like a 4K regular monitor, and it'll work. I've tested uh, my 4K screen, which is actually uh, just on the camera right now, but uh, that works perfectly. Um, you get, you know, with, when you put in the right monitor, you'll get the scaling slider versus the selection of uh, the different resolutions. So, uh, before I forget, I just want to just just emphasize this uh this matrix so let me just explain what this is so this matrix it's a matrix between ultra wide and non ultra wide also known as standard monitors versus 4k or qhd or less monitors 4k or above qhd or less so what works with the larger resolutions you know with, with different resolutions you're not losing the crispness the sharpness well I believe the only type of monitor you can get for that is a standard non-ultra wide monitor that's 4K or higher. I believe that is the only. I'm not too sure about ultra wide monitors that are 4K or above because there's not a lot of people who have that, so I don't I can't I don't have that, so I cannot confirm. But if you get a QHD monitor or or less resolution, whether it's ultra wide or standard, it's not going to let you get that crisp detailed text and graphics when you change the resolution so i hope that clarifies a little bit um as well going back to the conclusion if you're okay with the workarounds then you can probably get the ultra wide but if if those workarounds and the flickering is just too much it's overwhelming it's a too annoying then just get a standard 4k monitor for your m1 mac and you'll be happy for me, I think I'm going to stick with the ultra wide monitor. If I have to choose again, I may choose a non ultra wide monitor. I don't know. It's tough, especially, you know, I just want to let you know that right now there's a there's a sale for a Dell 4K 32 inch monitor. Pretty good. I looked at the specs, 1 billion colors, pretty accurate monitor. I'll leave it in the description below. I don't know how many days that are left for this deal. It's it's a pretty good deal. So uh, with that, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like or subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the, in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. So again, this is Victor with Sky Tech One, where we talk about tech, drones, and travel. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, and I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh.